kicking it old school with some Guardians of the Galaxy going back to 1992. Uh, this is number 27. I'll show you that front cover. I'll show you the back cover. Back at that time, every single book was some kind of crossover super event extravaganza, and this one's no exception. Now I can, uh, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this book, and I'm going to do that by shining the light everywhere on it. So you can see any of these little flaws and imperfections. I'm not seeing too much right around here. Maybe a little bit of a creasing right there. It's a little bit dirtier than I would like. It could certainly use a cleaning and pressing. Uh, but overall, not too shabby. A great reader copy. And Battletoads! Who remembers the Battletoads? You can see that all the way along as well. We're also going to show you a few of the interiors just to make sure there's no hidden defects or anything like that. The thing about every one of these Guardians of the Galaxies is you just never know which one will all of a sudden become a key when something happens in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So it's always great to be able to get these at a low price, put them in your collection, and hold them for a while. Look at that, you got some Doc Ock right there. I'm gonna show you the front one of this. This is September of uh, 1992 with number 28, Guardians of the Galaxy. We'll flip it over on the back. I was a big fan of this series myself back in the day. I'm not too familiar with the current lineup or movies but i love these so a little bit of a bend in there i want to show you it in 3d we'll shine the light on it again just like the others so you can see any kind of little stress imperfections right there we'll do the same on the back and then a couple of the interiors we want to be careful with these to not give too, too much away. Who's doing the art on this? Is this Larson? Ah, oh, that's Trimp. Wow, that's Herb Trimpy doing the artwork on this. Sadly, no longer with us. You might remember him from, uh, you might remember him from uh, G.I. Joe, those days doing the early G.I. Joe covers. Uh, that's Herb Trimpy doing some, his best Eric Larson <laughs> right there. We're going to move on to some Guardians of the Galaxy, number 42, from 1993. Flipping it over on the back so you can see that, and then let's jump into it. Really great copy of this. Looking pretty good all around. I'm not seeing too many defects. Maybe down here you get some stress on the spine. And is that, uh, yeah, I'm seeing a little bit. It's not quite a crease, but it is certainly a bend. Maybe it's a crease. Doesn't look like it breaks color, but... And then another right here. So there we see all of that. We'll show you the back as well. Lots going on there. And then we'll just show you a few of the interiors. You got some Thor. Is this, uh, is this Fat Thor? I believe this might be the one where we find out that Thor has put on a little bit of weight. So a minor key in that one before we move on to number 34 from 1993. Flip it over on the back. And we'll do it all again. A little bit lighter color on this one, so we'll take just a slight bit more time showing it to you. There we go. Same right here. And then just a few of that. Oh, you got some Star-Lord. You got some lots of goodness in this. I always love this. This this was such a fun little story because the sky was the limit. You could do just about anything in a Guardians of the Galaxy story. And that's going to finish it up for Guardians of the Galaxy number 34. Now you know everything about this comic that we know.